Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Night Shift. And thank you for watching. Night Shift is a haunting, bite sized puzzle game, guys. The story goes that the sun has disappeared from the sky, and you need to find it in your car. Also, there's ghosts, ghost hitchhikers to be exact. Okay, it's a weird game, to be honest with you, but that's kind of what I like about it, guys. It's just different. Um, it has those pixel graphics, it's unusual, and it's also got a little bit, it really does give you the heebie-jibbies. You'll see what I mean in a bit, guys. It released on Steam February 2015. Night Shift was developed and published by Brandon Brizzy. I apologize if I pronounced your last name wrong. You can go ahead and get Night Shift on Steam for $4.99, which seems fair given that the game isn't too terribly long, guys. It's about maybe two to three hours at the most. I've actually gone, I have beaten Night Shift uh, before I did this video, guys. And it, it's a very interesting game. I like what they were going for here. The music is incredible, um, but it, it doesn't do any hand-holding, this game. It really just kind of lets you figure things out for yourself, pretty much. We're going to go ahead and get into it now. We're going to check out the options here. Uh, there really isn't much to speak of in the options. And this is kind of where my, I have a gripe right here, is that there's just no resolution control. Um, you're kind of stuck in this box form. I, 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 if you couldn't do it, that's fine. I just wish there was a little bit more control of the resolution and uh, some other options here. But right now, basically, we can, full, we can full screen toggle the game, which basically means it'll stretch it out to whatever your resolution currently is. Uh, you can also lock it at 30 frames per second, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I guess that option is available to you. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't have much resolution control, and that's that's just my only gripe with the game thus far. Now, the game does feature partial controller support, but I've been playing it with my keyboard and mouse. Uh, it's much easier. You actually don't even need the mouse. You can just play with the keyboard. It's much easier to play it with that way, I think, and it just it works a little bit better for me. The game does feature steamy goodness. For all you Steam achievement hunters out there, are you Steam card fanatics? There is something for you to gnaw on there. Uh, so without further ado, guys, we're just going to go ahead and start a new game. And like I said, the game doesn't do any hand-holding. It's very... I don't, I don't, I don't want to say artsy... But I'm going to say strange. How about that? Okay, so it basically we gotta find the road. And right now we're just literally driving in the darkness here, by the way. Let's talk about what you're looking at right here, by the way. As you can see on the bottom left, there's like kind of like a speed meter. That's how fast your engine's going. You have a little console there in the middle, which basically kind of shows you different things that you can turn on. Um, it's really difficult to explain these things without, you know, it's basically kind of like a car. When I, eventually, when I get deeper into the game, I'm going to have lights, which I can turn off or on. I can also press the space bar, and that brings my car to a complete, usually coming kind of like a complete stop. Or just, yeah, it just helps me slow down. Oh, no, sorry. Space bar lets me flash my brights. That's what it does. Which you can only do when you're stopped. Well, you'll see what I'm being in a bit, guys. So, as you can see, we're following the butterflies, and things just kind of changed. Oh, and things just changed again. Things now. Uh, there's ghosts. Good God! Oh, there's friggin' trees. What the hell's going on? Well, you can drive up to these ghosts, and like I said, you can get kind of like advice from them. They're almost like ghost hitchhikers. They're not always good. Sometimes they're bad. And yes, I'm bashing into the trees. I am a terrible driver at this game. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, sometimes they're good. Sometimes they give really cryptic advice and want to throw you off the track. But basically, you have one ability with this car, which is this. Which allows you to flash your brights, which to ghosts, by the way, uh, it does kill them. It kills ghosts. You don't want to do that, to, though, to all your ghosts. Ghosts can be helpful. That particular ghost actually was giving us a clue. He said saplings grow. By the way, I can ram into him and shatter that ghost. Hold on, let's just do that really quick. Thanks for the advice there, ghost butter. Uh, uh, you're dead now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a jerk. That's how I roll. So he basically said saplings grow. Well, there's these glowing white, white trees around here. Well, what happens if we flash them? Oh! Suddenly there's music playing and the tree has grown. Again, this is about a, this is a puzzle game, guys. This is kind of like it's showing you the basic concept of the game without actually explaining it. Uh, it's a very minimalistic game in design, in tutorial, 
pretty much in every regard, it's kind of a minimalistic game. We can go to the settings here, really, it doesn't even tell you what the buttons are. I kind of had to figure out the buttons for myself, but they're kind of simplistic. There was E and spacebar. Those are the controls of the game. Like I said, it's just, it's a very minimalistic game in all regards. Art-wise, it's minimalistic, but it works. I get it, I like it, um, and I dug it. Not only that, the music is incredible. So we made the trees grow, and now we get this awesome, like, 80s music. It makes like think of Danger Zone. Every time I hear this music, I'm like, yeah, I want to fight something and kick some ass. So there we go. We basically now have made it to the main road. Now, this is the main road that will literally take you to all of your puzzles. As you can see, it's called Sunrise Drive. Um, depending on which direction you go on in this road, either into the darkness, down the road, up, down the road, away from the sign, you will be heading towards different puzzles. Now, I'm only going to do probably like the first couple of puzzles here just to give you an example of what this game is like because the experience of the game is kind of is the joy of the game, figuring things out for yourself. Um, you know, it, it's really difficult sometimes to figure out what you have to do. But it's also the, the pleasurable part of the game. At least I, I felt it was. So I'm going to start driving down the road here. And you'll see what I mean as we start heading down the road. We're going to start running into situations here. So, like, for instance, there's a ghost here. Ah, the first puzzle. What does he say? He says, dissolve them with light. Okay. Who am I dissolving, exactly? Oh. What, what, what was that? Did I just bump into a tree? Is there a tree behind me? One thing I will say... Yeah, there's a tree behind me. The trees refill your light bar. As you can see basically under my little speedometer there, every time I use a flash of light, I basically flash my brights, it uses up a charge. The white trees recharge that. But it also kind of resets the puzzle as well. I can also turn off my car lights by pressing E. Uh, and I can't flash my brights when I'm in that particular place. The smiley face and the sad face basically just lets you know if you get hit by a car... At least that's what I think it does. That's pretty much all it does from what I remember. Uh, and that's kind of the basic gist of it. You just can, kind of need to monitor how many points of light you have to flash with. That's how you're going to be kind of interacting with all the puzzles. Now, as far as the car's handling goes, it kind of handles like a truck. I mean, it's not the most smoothest ride in the friggin' world. Yeah, I'm afraid. Um, but it, it, it's it's... It's not that it's bad, it's just it, it's just a very... Now, these cars right here, these guys right here, these are kind of like ghost cars. If they hit me, uh, they will actually dissolve my light. They'll take away charges from my car, which is bad. We don't want them to do that. So I'm actually going to let this guy approach me, and then I'm going to, bam, take him out. You can incinerate them, basically, with your flashes of light. It will, I should not say incinerate, I should say it just defeats them. It gets rid of them, as it were. Um... Right now, they were basically trying to stop me from completing the puzzle, which would have been bad. So now we should be able to, uh, without any problems, I think. There we go. And the, the music is kind of like a visual clue. Not visual, audio clue, I should say. Derp. Um, to let you know that you are on the track to solving that puzzle. You are you're basically doing good. Now, this is very important. This is the fire. This is actually how you know you're making progress in the game here. Let's see what the ghosts have to say. He says absolutely nothing apparently. He's just like, you know, I'm not interested. The sun fell far from the road. Okay. And then we'll go over to the next ghost. We're going to avoid the fire for now. I just kind of want to see what they have to say. Ghost man. Tell you something. Take the flame to the fallen sun. Okay. So you get the basic idea. We need to find these flames, these white silver flames and take them somewhere off the road. So we can start just driving kind of blindlessly off the road. And you will be doing this quite a bit in this game, guys. I'm going to tell you that one for free. You're going to be kind of just doing some wandering, some aimless driving for quite a while sometimes as you basically are kind of moving around a, a square grid. At least that's, that's the way I kind of look at it. And what you basically need to do is just keep driving that square grid and trying to head towards the edges because it kind of flips the map. It kind of like it sends you into another area. Um, sometimes it's easy to predict where it is. Sometimes it isn't, though. I'm just turning off my lights to see if that changes anything. I'm just going to keep driving. I'm going to find this freaking fallen sun. 
It's not always easy to find, I will tell you that one free. But you gotta just keep driving. That's the kind of the, kind of the point of the game is almost to feel like it's haunting. It's a little bit, you know, scary. Um, where the hell is it, though? It's not easy to find, man. I'm gonna turn off my lights. I'm gonna see if that helps. Sometimes that does change things up. Turning off your car lights. Everything is, in a way, part of a puzzle. Your car lights, your flashing, everything you're driving is, is all, of, all of it's part of a puzzle somehow. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, there it is. Ah! All right, so we added our flame to the sun now. As you can see, it's now circling. That is the sun, by the way. Even this dark thing right here, this is the sun. And that is officially progress. Now that we basically added the first flame, I think there's a total of six flames uh, to gather from all the puzzles. And there's actually seven puzzles total in the game. Like I said, it's not super long. But again, I, I enjoy what they were going for here in the game. I enjoy what they were going for, and I get it. I think it works pretty well. It's an unusual type of game, and I like that a bit. So now you can see we're back at the main road. We're literally right back at the sign where we started from. Again, we can basically drive up to these these white trees if we wanted to recharge our lights. As you can see, we're back at Sunset Drive, guys. And we have to head down either one side of the road again or the other to head towards the next puzzle and you kind of repeat this process over and over again trying to figure out all these different puzzles and some of them can be very challenging I will say there's some that kind of made me go I don't know what to do and you know you might want to cheat if you can't figure it out I wouldn't suggest cheating um, but sometimes there's just some puzzles where you're like you know what screw you I'm gonna I want to make progress I want to see what happens and the ending by the way is kind of worth it I think it's kind of really <laughs> The best way for me to describe it, really, I'm doing terrible here. It really, it reminds me, it's kind of 80s-tastic. It's just, it's like freaking, like, yeah, let's go get some sodas, you know? Like, you know, just, it's very over the top, and I kind of like that. I feel like this entire game, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Uh, this entire game is kind of over the top. Ah! I'm out of lights. Uh, by the way, when you run out of charge, you do run out of lights, essentially. And then you need to either find some more lights or, um, where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? I need a tree. Where, where's the tree? I think we, because we got here without any charge, we might be slightly foobarred. And we probably need to go back. Yeah, because we didn't have any charge. Because we got taken up by all those cars. Sometimes you need to kind of battle your way to the puzzles themselves. Uh, which can add a little bit to, to that game. Can add a little bit of grind to the game, I'll say that much. Because it would be a little bit frustrating. Like, okay, well, crap, I don't have any charge here. So what do I do? Well, you kind of have to just try to head back to the main road. You'll drive by the sun quite a bit, by the way. Uh, and then recharge your car and then try again, basically, over and over again. To either figure it out... Uh, you figure out or you do basically well and sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating because it's not it, the car can only flash when the car is stopped so like in this particular situation I need to get past these ghost cards with as, with as much charge as possible right I can only do that though I can only flash these guys when my car is completely stopped so that makes it just a little bit teeny tiny frustrating you don't want to flash all of them if you if you don't have to though. You can try to avoid some of them. Yeah, I'm not gonna. See, I didn't make it there. I lost more than I gained. I wasn't expecting it to be two of them. That wasn't fair. Okay, we could, we could probably we could probably manage this puzzle. Oh come on! Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, we're gonna need more than that. That's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna go back up the main road here. Gosh dang it all. Again, not all the puzzles are easy. There's a little bit of, you know, skill to be had here. You have to dodge these cars. Uh, it's not always easy to accomplish that. Because the cars controls, there's, there's it's, it's it's sluggish sometimes. It's not the world's greatest control controlling cars. So we're gonna need to obviously head towards toward the darkness here. Because we're just driving up the same road over and over again. Hi son. Uh, bye son. Talk to you later, son. And I mean, that's kind of the basic gist of it, guys. You kind of have to just figure things out. 
Uh, try to perform the best that you can at the puzzles. It's not always easy. Let's see if I head down towards the opposite side of the road, or is this the... I think I had it down the straight side, didn't I? We'll just pick one side of the road here. And maybe we can avoid the... Son of a bitch! Okay, this side. Yeah. Okay, good. Nope. Nope. Not interested. Not listening. Can't touch this. And 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 it. And it. And it. Can't touch this. Shit. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. Do I have to kill them? It's very possible I have to kill them. Or do I just have to avoid them? I think I just have to avoid them. Alright. So we made it here. So again, all we're looking to do is probably in this particular case is light up these uh these these towers again. If you bump into them with your car, by the way, they will turn off, and that's also something you need to be careful for. Uh, because it's very easy to do that. Like I said, the car doesn't have the greatest handling in the world. Uh, it will just, just be like, oh, well, shit, you know. That one's okay, because I, there we go. I think we accomplished this puzzle. There's the flame. Pow, we take it. And then we can take it back to the, uh, the sun. Like I said, guys, I don't want to do too many puzzles here for you guys, because... Playing the game itself, figuring all these things out for yourself, is kind of the, 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 the enjoyment of the game. The experience of the darkness and kind of that eerie feeling of, you know, utter darkness and you don't know where you're driving, you can't see what's ahead of you, is kind of the pleasure of this game. I went the wrong way. I did get the flame, though, so I mean, that's a good thing, I think. We're going to keep driving off the road, though. That's going to take us towards the sun. There it is. Okay, we'll add the flame to it. Uh, should be two flames. There we go. And so on and so forth. And you get the basic idea of kind of like a the rinse repeat type of thing. Not all the puzzles always have you dealing with other cars. Sometimes it has you dealing with ghosts or aspects of light or your blinkers or your lights and all that good kind of stuff, guys. It's always kind of changing things up and it never really, other than the hints that the ghosts kind of give you, which are very vague, it really never holds your hand. And I kind of like that. As far as the graphics go, like I said, it, it actually was, a, it, for me, when I played it first time, it was kind of, it gave me the heebie-jeebies. I was like, oh, I don't know where I'm driving, it's dark, and there's ghosts, and I'm like, where am I going? And it, it, it the graphics for me accomplished what it was meant to do, I feel. Musically, fantastic. Sound-wise, it's okay. I mean, the little, you know, the flashing of the, it's okay. The sound effects serve their purpose. The controls are, like I said, it's just a very sluggish car. I think that's part of the. I think that's part of the puzzles, though, is the fact that the car is so sluggish, though, guys. But either way, I think it's a pretty fun game. It's short. It's bite sized. You can probably play it, you know, two or three hours a quick afternoon, uh, and you will enjoy it, guys. So I want to say big thanks to the developer for a chance to check out this title. Thank you for watching. We're gonna subscribe and share. And I'll keep bringing you awesome indie games, guys. If you really enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting up that tip jar if you're feeling generous of heart. All tips go to improving the channel or future giveaways, guys. Till next time, guys. Play more indie games.